Hi Capricorn and welcome to your dating singles romance scope for November 2017. This tarot reading will look at the energies for those of you who are, you know, just dating around. It could be just one person you date or it could be several or you're just talking to people. Um, this is for a Capricorn who is not committed to any specific person or relationship. Um, also, if you're like single, single, I will be uploading single as fuck videos, which would probably resonate with you more than this particular one. This is for people who are just dating, okay, um, and with no commitment. Now, I also want to say that this is a general tarot reading looking at all the energy for Capricorn. I am not honing in on one specific storyline or any person's personal energy. So this reading may or may not resonate with you. And um, if it does, great. If it doesn't, it doesn't. And it's not because I'm a bad reader or the universe is against you. It's just it wasn't meant for you this particular time. Okay. And there are lots of really fabulous readers on YouTube. So this doesn't resonate with you. Go check one of them out. But I sure hope that it does. So with that said, let's get pull a card for your overall energy for the month of November 2017. Whoa, so we have conflict and chaos. Very interesting. What's that about Capricorn? But uh, it could be the end of this, <clears throat> or it could be a beginning of that energy. This is general, so it's going to be different for every one of you. But I'm going to pull some tarot cards to get a better feel of <clears throat> what that's saying. You could just have a lot going on in your dating life in November, and it just... It's a cluster. Maybe you're dating a couple different people, and um, they both want to spend the holiday with you, <laughs> and it's creating an issue. Or maybe you're dating somebody who's dating a couple different people, and you're not the one going to the holiday, and that's the issue. So let's see what the tarot cards have to add to that. Okay, so we have the Eight of Wands. So for some right away, it's just because you have a lot going on. Like um, you could have a lot going on outside of your dating life and it's it's causing issue with, you know, the people you are dating or the person that you're dating or vice versa. And then we have <clears throat> the Four of Coins and the Three of Swords. Oh no! <laughs> Well, uh, this right here, so I'm reading for the, the, these cards here are for the first half of November and paired up with this, it definitely could be, you receive, um, a message from the person you're dating or you receive a message about the person you're dating and they are either letting you go or you're letting them go and it brings sadness to you. So it's like um, maybe you guys have some sort of like disagreement or fight or something just unacceptable happens. And again, this could go either way. It could be um, being done to you or you doing to somebody else. But um with this being reversed, this is letting go of something and, um, or it could be that, you know, you're opening up and sharing, but with it following this, um, this card following that, I should say, it looks as though, you know, here's this information or this conversation and you guys decide to just stop seeing each other or something along those lines. Let's, um, let's pull for the second half of November and see how this all shakes out. Oh, I don't like that. Like, I want to, honestly, I always want to give positive messages. I know it doesn't work that way, but 
usually when it's not a super positive message, people are just not even having it. They're like, oh, I don't like this. I'm like, I'm sorry. This is, I just read the cards. The universe is the one that's bringing the message here through the specific cards that come out. So let's see what's going on in the second half. Okay, so we have the Three of Wands reversed, the Devil reversed, and then the Ten of Wands reversed. Okay, great. I like the way that this is panning out the second half of November. So, whatever this situation is, this person, or you know what? It could even be like you're dating several people and it's causing just issue, like I said, but... There is a decision made to let someone or something go, which does bring sadness, okay? But in the second half of November, what I see is completely giving up on it. And it looks like it was like an intense energy, but you are relieved, okay? You feel better. Whatever this is going on, it's a lot to carry. It could be the person that you're dealing with um with all this fire energy here and the devil they could just be somebody who's very selfish very mean maybe even abusive controlling um could have some addictions even and you know but this also is the card that represents the capricorn energy see the capricorn emblem up there you definitely might feel a little deflated by um, everything that's happened here. But again, you're going to be relieved by the end of the month. It's just like you see the light. Like you're like, oh, God, that was just way too much. I just and if you're dating um, several people, you're definitely letting some of them go again. It's just like it's all too much. That's the uh, main thing I'm feeling for you dating singles is either you're dating multiple people and it's just becoming too hard to handle or who you are like the most is dating multiple people and you're just not dealing with it anymore um or there's one particular person that you like but it's just it's been a heavy intense energy like it just can't seem to um, fully manifest into a full-blown relationship with a commitment and stability and either you're letting this person go or they're letting you go or you just have a lot going on outside of your dating life that is um, pulling your attention away and it may cause like you know somebody you really like or somebody you're dating to just get an attitude and not believe what you're saying and maybe they let you go and you're like are you kidding me like this is all out of my control and you're going to play this game and that's where the sadness comes but then later in the month like i said you just have a coming to jesus and you're like uh yeah fuck you 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 suck like i'm glad this is over it's such a weight off of me and i did not even realize okay so there's just uh some element of heavy energy and then you deciding to let something go or something deciding to let you go so i'm going to pull some romance angels just to get some more information but um i do like by the end you're good with it it's like good riddance and you know for some of you you might be good with it it still stings a little bit but you're good with it and uh i really think if there was any question any suspicious behavior, like anything, you're going to know about it. And that might be what sparks this whole domino effect, okay? So past life relationship, again, like I said, it could be very intense. And with this, um, you guys do have a, a deep connection on both sides. And that comes, you know, from, according to the romance angels, a past life relationship, a connection in a previous incarnation doesn't have to mean you guys were lovers then, but you recognize their energy, they recognize your energy, and you are very drawn to each other. With make the effort, um, again, this is like where you could have too much going on or they could have too much going on and you just don't feel like they're serious about you or they don't feel like you're serious about them and 
that's you know the issue here the main thing at hand is one or the other is feeling like the relationship is lopsided it's not balanced oh look at this for some of you you're gonna reconcile now I did not see that in any of these cards but uh, with this reconcile it may not be with this particular person, okay, because this is a, a general reading. And this reconciliation it could mean that somebody else that you've already dated is coming back into your life. And in fact, based on these cards, um, that could be what facilitates all of this energy is, you know, your ex or their ex comes back into the picture and, you know, you decide that you would rather be with your ex or they decide they would rather be with their ex. Okay, um, I had something else coming through, but it escaped me as I was finishing that thought. So hold on, let me... Okay, if you are the one that like caused this energy and you let go of somebody and you're hurting over it but you really would like to date them but you feel like the ship has sailed like you have no chance um with make the effort and reconciliation i feel as though if you put a genuine effort into it you have a chance okay um also if they're the one that screwed up, they might be coming in in November to try to make an effort to reestablish the relationship. Um, I don't really get the sense of that too much. It's like this reconciliation comes from somebody else, somebody else that you've already been with. And maybe that's why you're like, OK, cool, I don't even care about this anymore. But... <clears throat> Definitely um, pay attention to your intuition, and if something doesn't feel right, question it, and don't be afraid to, you know, call somebody out. It might cause arguments and fighting and chaos, but that's what needs to happen because either common ground will be found through a separation and perhaps coming back together, or you know, this needs to all shake up and break apart because there's something else. Um, on the horizon coming in for you, especially with this card here. So, you know, pay attention to your gut. You know when somebody's not being honest with you. And, you know, if somebody lets you go, let them walk. Seriously, that's the best thing you can do. Don't retaliate. Don't say all the mean, hurtful things that you could say to get them back. Just let them go. And then that puts them, that energy will cause them to really evaluate the way they treated you and handled you way quicker than if you retaliate and, you know, say mean things to hurt them back. So strong um, message connected to this card. So if this has not happened to you yet and, and it comes about, just let the person walk. Be like, okay, your loss. And then watch what happens, okay? So that's what I have for Capricorn. I hope that this helped and resonated. And I hope you all have a very beautiful and blessed month. Take care.